Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is a prophetic word for somebody. God knows what you want. God knows what you need. God knows what you desire. Hallelujah. And that which you desire, that which you need, God will give it to you. And sorry to say this, it might not be what you really want, but it will be what God wants for you. Because some people just get things that they, they, will, they don't need. I want this, I want this, I want this. At the end of the day, they don't need it. That is why so many believers made mistakes even in the, in, the, in the aspect of choosing their device powers. Hallelujah. When people are walking out of your life, they are going away, they are running away. You are saying to yourself, you want them. Sometimes you have to sit down and ask yourself, do you really need them? It is wanting to want something. It is another thing to need it. Many people have clothes they don't wear. They, want their, they wanted their clothes. That is why they bought it at the boutique. They bought it wherever they, they buy it and they're shopping and all of that. They want it, they want it, but they got home. And those things have been piled up. They realize that they don't need it. They don't need it. <clears throat> Hallelujah. There are people who have thousands of shoes, hundreds of shoes. They don't wear They They wanted it, but now they don't need it. Child of God, you can want a, you can want somebody in your life. But if that is not what you need, God will not allow that person to stay. Because if the person stay, they will pollute your life. So I am here to tell somebody that God knows what you need. God knows what you need and God is bringing what you need into your life. If they are running away from you, you don't know what is going on. The first person run, the second person run. It's not that maybe there is something you are doing right. You have look at yourself. It's not that there is a foundation, there is a foundation that is driving people. You know, there are some people who, who have that problem. Like any good person that comes to their life, just go away. Is it that the person is dead or the person just abandoned them? Is it that the person is gone or the person just abandoned them? There are people like that that are soft, that are that are experiencing that satanic suffering. It is demonic. A such situation don't need to be tolerated. It needs to be dealt with. Because it is a covenant somewhere that is speaking that that person should not have good people in their in his or her life. I've seen people who bury spouses. They bury the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. You know, before they realize that something is wrong with them. Because the enemy have caused their marital settlement. So that is a different that is a different message, I think, for another time. I don't want to divide from what God had me to talk to talk about in this message. You know, there are people who lose people, good people come to their life. Suddenly, they walk away for no reason. If, if you are in that category, you have to pray. Let me finish that because somebody might want to listen to hear more about that situation. Like good people come to your life. People care about you. When they come into your life, they like you. They want to support you. They want to be by you. They want to stand by you. They want to encourage you. They want to support you. But suddenly, they just withdraw. You don't know what is going on. You did not offend them. But you don't know what is going on. It has been happening and happening and happening. If you're in that category, you need to pray a prayer of deliverance. That God should deliver you from every power that are sending away, that are sending away good people from your life. Or that are killing good people from your life. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. I can't tell somebody that said that everybody is just dying. He said everybody is just dying. It's like death is not like a competition in the place where he or she come and the person was telling me say the 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 the, the, the pastor now the, the the man now have to become a pastor when he realized that ah people are just dying people are just dying you don't know what happened and i, I think that the, the the pastor buried three of 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 his children 
in a day he wasn't a pastor yet when the incident happened so that incident opened his eyes though he was a very strong christian that situation happened and he need to now understand that something is happening the man of god said in his village death now become like a competition this one will die this one will die it's like they were doing competition let's see who to key let me adjust myself let's see who to key next you know that kind of a thing let's see who is going to die next it seemed like it was not like a competition that was when he realized that something is happening they don't want people good people because his children were very good children in his hand yes you know the bible says children are like sparrow in the hands of their parent and he was he had to pray he had to pray and pray his way out he had to enter a warfare ministry not a place where they pray entertainment entertainment prayer there is a time for entertainment prayer. He had to get serious with God and he had to enter a ministry where you pray yourself out, you know. You pray yourself out. You pray and pray and pray and everything that needs to break, break. And God restore, God restore him. I think he lost twins, a bit, uh, three children before. God restore him and the wife now gave birth to quadruplets. You understand? God now restored the wasted years. After he has prayed and prayed and prayed, sometimes if you find yourself in that category, don't don't be a don't 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 be a lukewarm prayer Christian. I know it might be hard to pray sometimes, but you have to look for a place where you can pray, a place where they pray, not just seeing vision. Seeing vision is not enough. You have to learn how to do it on your own. You understand? Seeing vision, I see this, I see that, is not enough. Learning to pray and pray your way out. It is not every time. That somebody should be praying an entertainment uh, prayer hallelujah so i quickly want to collect that situation if good people are living your life you observe it that every time good people live your life good spouses good friendship they just go is it that they are dead or they just leave you like that you have to pray because there is something somewhere that is trying to remove good things from your life and the lord will vindicate you in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah glory to jesus but to this message, let me go back again. Someone hear me. They keep running away. Not that, you know, uh, you are like, I need them, I need them, and they are going away. I need them, I need them, and they are going away. But God knows that that is not the person that you need. That is why they went and betray you. That is when they just, they, they treat you as if you are a trash. That is when they treat you as if, oh, they, they come, they are toxic, they are narcissist behavior. You are, you become so unsettled with yourself. You can no longer even have peace anymore. God knows that such people are not the people that you need, that you need in your life. You might want them because, oh, you just love them. You don't even know why you love them. If you are asked, why do you love this person? You cannot even explain the reason why you love them. But you just want them. You are like, this person, I want this person in my life. Though what the person is doing to me, I don't really uh, like it. I don't really treasure it. But I need this person in my life. God knows that you don't need that person. That is why you see that suddenly they start running. When such people start avoiding you, let them go. When such people start ignoring you, let them go. Because God is able to bring what you need. God is able to bring what you need into your life. Hallelujah. God is able to bring what you need into your life. If they are running away, don't allow the devil to tell you, run after them. After they have treated you so badly and they decide to be running away, they decide to run away. Don't, don't, don't feel bad. The devil might tell you, run after them. You don't need to run after anyone. When you stay where you are, you build your value. When you build your value, even those that run away from you, they will see their value in you and they will want to come back. There is no one on earth that does not have integrity. That does not have value. You need to understand that you that is hearing me right now, you have value. You have value. So don't run after anyone that felt that, oh, uh, they, they don't want to be in your life. Don't force them. If they don't want you, let them go. Let them go. We have millions of people on this earth. God is able to bring those that you need, not the one you want. It is not all friendship is needed. You might want the friendship Maybe for just outing, for partying and all of that. But that is not, you will realize that in, in, in the wrong course, that are not the kind of friendship 
that you really want to that you really need around yourself around your children around people that you love there are some relationship you need you want you are like okay because you can go out together you can do some things together but you realize that most of the things you do with those people you cannot do it with them around your children you cannot do it with them around your parents then what is the point of having them at the first point at the first place that is to tell you that you don't need them the one that you need is what god will bring for you it is well with you jesus love you and I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.